Hey guys, what's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. Damn. All right. Uh, the, <laughs> that threw me all the way off. Uh, the situation and the obstacles in your way and the outcome of that situation. It looks like somebody is really struggling back, like, without you or, like, I don't know. It just looks like you were doing way better. All right. So, Gemini. Um, media future. You're extremely intuitive. Like, your intuition is off the charts. And somebody's at a distance or they're hurt. All right. So, um, I mean, like, heartbroken type hurt. All right, Gemini. So remember the energies can go both ways. Flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading, so just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, what's coming up with the gems? Your energy is incredibly strong. Um so definitely trust your intuition. You have the King of Wands and the Ten of Swords and the King of Cups. For some, you could be dealing with a fire sign and a water sign. Or somebody's energy is completely... Like, okay, so in the middle of it, we have the Ten of Swords. So this could already be... This is an ending, right? But this kind of feels like, especially if you have one person, like their whole mojo is about to flip from, like... I don't know because we got to clarify. But this King of the King of Wands has like a lot of swag to him, right? A lot of hey, you know, I'm the King of Wands, but it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Then we have this ending, and that's a really defeated feeling. So then we go to this King of Cups energy, which is water energy. So you could have two people here, but it's just if it's one person, it feels like like a light switch got flipped. Tell me about this King of Wands for Gemini. Seven of Cups. Somebody's been thinking about you a lot. For some, this could be a married man or um, <clears throat> somebody that, like, uh, I don't know, it looks like you moved away from. Like, could have literally moved away from. Show me the Seven of Cups. For the gems. Confused, like, yeah. See, that's what I was talking about. That's why it feels like a, a mojo flip. Which I usually don't get that energy. But anyways, the five of pentacles. I mean, this person is really lonely. They could be like flat broke without you. Um, somebody could have ghosted or breadcrumbed. But, um, oh shit, for some, this could have, whew. Wow, somebody could have been a real asshole. Like, to the point of, like, physical, like, physical abuse as well. But with the ten of, the five of pentacles here, somebody is definitely feeling lost, feeling without. Wow. What is, give me one more on the five. Yes. Yeah, see, for some, there's a third party here. The lovers is your energy, but this is, you know, somebody could have just ghosted for a third party, just, like, up and left, abandoned the situation. Show me that Ten of Swords for the gems, please. The Justice. The Justice is Libra energy, but um, it kind of feels like karma came back and got somebody. This could have been a marriage, something that was long term, um, but you have something that's, that's ending around it. What is the justice, the two of swords? You may not even be seeing this because there's a pathway that's about to be opened here. And once it takes off, there's all kinds of opportunities, love, all these new things that are starting. So you may have a choice, but it's basically like this two of swords opening up. I don't know if this is this has really been moving here. But um yeah, see, there's love around it, but somebody, it kind of feels like got some type of big shocker here. Cancer energy. Uh, somebody may end up also having car issues, but it's, it's like, it's like this person is now like worried to the point that like it's a defeating worry. Like it's, it's really weighing on someone here and they haven't known what to do, but they're trying to move forward, get things back on track. That balance, this person is stressed the fuck out. 
You may have blocked them out completely. Tell me a uh, little more about the Nine of Swords for Gemini. The Nine of Swords is a lot of anxiety. Yeah, something ended here or is ending. There's that Eight of Swords and somebody is not, like, mentally not knowing how to process that. Because when you have the Eight, Nine, and Ten of Swords, that's all, like, mind play, like, worry, things like that. Um... So it could be that somebody's like uh, ending something in order to move forward. But this is a pretty solid ending. Like the, the Ten of Swords and the Death. We didn't have that the Scorpio energy. But if we didn't have the Death card there. And you know maybe somebody is just in their head. But um, definitely they are. And it looks like ending something in order. Show me the King of Cups to move forward. Especially if it was a third party situation or like there was some type of theft around it. The Four of Pentacles. Alright. I mean, pretty, um, pretty obvious what's going on here. But tell me one more for the outcome. I'll, um, yeah, see, there it is. I think you're really focused on self love. This is what's happening over here. This person, this energy that's probably not used to losing something or being without or, you know, being the one getting pushed to the back burner is now feeling that. So stressing like hell, trying to move forward. They do love you. There's feelings here. So it's, it's like a light switch, right? With the King of Cups. Um, I mean, you definitely could have a choice, but. There's a lot of emphasis here on being happy and focusing on self-love. There is an opportunity that's going to present itself because you may feel like this person has let you go, but they have not. Not with that four of pentacles. So they're coming back for another chance here. And like I said, where the two of swords, where things were closed off before, somebody did not know how to proceed. It's like that that's opening up like oh it's a new day type thing so new offers new love but the nine of pentacles in the middle of it all because remember the ace of cups is new love but it's also self-love which we gotta have for we can really um you know appreciate and all that thing and all those things like love others so that's kind of where um it looks like you're ending at uh, what was I about to say though? Money is improving. Like if there has been financial situations, things are definitely improving. But it feels like somebody, honestly, and it's kind of an energy I usually don't feel like somebody got put in their place on a karmic level or is about to. The five of cups. Yeah, a lot of regret embarrassment, disappointment. Like it feels like within themselves, but um the thing is with that five of cups and the two of cups i will say it every time there is love here and it, it just looks like there's been a period of time where somebody didn't see that and the two cups are still standing behind them so it's it's coming back this is not gone um somebody has not let go yeah it looks like your energy I mean, the sun, that's the happiest card of the deck, the queen of wands. Yeah, you definitely may have more than one offer here, but the queen of wands is so confident, confident, energetic. Like, you're at the point where you could be single, ready to get back out there, or like your finances, your stature really came up and you're finally, you're finding, excuse me, you're finding a whole new, yeah, side of self. Uh, commitment, marriage, could be moving into a new home, that type of thing. This is a really nice energy, especially from starting with this energy. You are doing your damn thing. And they're going to try to save it. All right, Gemini, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.